This is the ultimate back handspring video. Gymnastics HQ is going to show you how to do a back handspring in all the top drills we recommend. Let's just recap what's going to be in this video. How to do a back handspring step by step. Tips for learning a back handspring. Muscles you need for a back handspring. Exercises you can do at home. Back handspring drills you should be able to do at the gym. And back handspring drills you can do at home. Just so we're clear, what is a back handspring? A back handspring is a backward skill where you lean and jump back to your hands and land on your feet. Unlike anything most gymnasts have done before. And since a back handspring requires a gymnast to push and jump backwards, it can also create a mental block. Let's break it down real quick. Number one, sit, lean, and push. Sit like you're sitting in a chair, lean back, not forwards, and push back. Number two, stay tight in an arch, meaning make sure your bottom isn't poked out and that you're pushing your belly up to the ceiling. Number three, block off hands. Basically, stay really tight, don't bend your elbows and push off of the ground as hard as you can. Number four, snap your legs down fast. Ideally, you want your hands to come up off of the ground before your feet hit, while being in a nice rounded position, not too pikey. And the last one's kind of hard, land with your legs under your hips. We put our little friend next to Maya just to show you a little bit more how it should be. In order to do a back handspring, you need these muscles. Arms, core, shoulders, and legs. Don't worry, we're gonna give you exercises you can do at home to grow your muscles. So you can do your back handspring. The first one, wall sits. Next, planks. You can do an elbow plank or you can do a high plank on your hands. Hollow holds are great for growing your core muscles. You can do these with your arms by your ears or by your sides. Just make sure that your lower back is on the floor. Next, we have three different squat variations, which targets different muscles in the legs. For normal squats, your legs will be about shoulder width apart. Now for squat jumps, it's exactly the same except you're jumping. Try not to drop your chest and make sure that you're going as low as if you were sitting in a chair. For sumo squats, it's gonna be exactly like a normal squat except your legs are gonna be wider than shoulder width apart. Next are pull-ups. Pull-ups are hard, but try to do them without swinging. It's okay if you can't do them by yourself yet, you can have someone assist you. Arch hollows are next. It's pretty much exactly what it sounds like. Wall angels are great for shoulder flexibility. Try to press your shoulders and your arms against the wall. And the last one would be leg lifts. Remember, consistency is key. Doing these every day will give you the best results. And doing them every once in a while probably won't do a whole lot for you. Let's move on to back handspring drills you should be able to do at the gym. The first one is handstand snap down. The goal is to snap down your legs really fast while also popping off your hands before your feet hit the ground and then punching right back up to the mat. For this one, sometimes it might be hard to find a big mat or stacked mats, but if you get lucky, you want to sit, fall, and push onto that mat, just like this demo girl I made for you. Next, back handspring over the barrel. And for our last drill, back handspring on the trampoline. If you need assistance with this, please make sure that you grab a coach. Now, we're on to back handspring drills that you can do at home. The first one is a handstand against the wall. You can do this with your back against the wall, or you can flip over and you can do a Spider-Man handstand. And lastly, bridges. We hope that this video gets you a little bit closer to that back handspring, or that it helps you improve. If you want to improve more of your gymnastics, join Gymnastics HQ's Skill Tracker. With just 15 minutes a day, you can improve your gymnastics.